Hi, today I'm here to talk about how to engage your customers in the digital economy in the right way. I am Andy Tharai. We spent about 30 plus years perfecting our backend systems. So our systems of record has been built out to be very reliable, uh, very available, very secure, very scalable, and it's serving our business needs. Not in the past, not necessarily in the present, but also going forward in the near foreseeable future. But the problem with that scenario is that when you need something built, when, when there's a new engagement, bringing in a new partner on board, a new channel such as a mobile channel that need to be enabled, a new IoT channel to be enabled to do a data collection, new analytics channel to be enabled, um, new partner channel need to be communicated, new P2P initiative need to be built. Everything need to be built from end to end, meaning that it'll take a lot of time. It'll, it'll be a big integration initiative it'll cost us a lot of money. And the problem with that scenario is we have been trying to build for enterprise systems, which looks like this, uh, keeping the old enterprise in mind. But unfortunate thing is the enterprise landscape has changed. The current enterprise looks something like this. It's more of a digital connected enterprise. It's about data. It's about systems available on demand, available to the people who need it, when they need it, how they need it, and as they need it. Also, the system of engagement needs have changed. In the past, there are only few ways to work with the existing backend systems or systems of record. You either built a website so people can interact with the backend systems, or you built uh, a solid integration to the backend systems end to end in which somebody can connect to get the data to display it in the manner they wish. But in today's needs in the digital economy, everything has changed. Uh, it's about your mobile devices connecting to the backend systems. It's about your tablets connecting to the backend systems. It's about your sensors and wearable connecting to the backend systems to feed the data. It's about your healthcare devices that are connecting to the backend systems to feed the data. It's about your connected appliances that are connected to the backend systems. It's about your gaming consoles. It's about your partners that want to have access to your systems of records of data. So unfortunate thing is that the, the need to integrate is more than ever on a daily basis. The need to expose the data has been more than ever. In other words, in the digital economy, people are looking for to connect to your data with their data and provide the best possible digital experience to, to your customers and their customers almost on a constant basis. So in digital economy, what matters? Not necessarily owning the resource matters as such. To provide an example, Uber, the world's largest taxi company or ride-sharing company, doesn't own all the taxi cabs that it runs out. Facebook, the world's largest, um, the world's most popular media owner or social network, doesn't own or doesn't create it owns the data, but it doesn't create the content. It's, it's the people who are participating in the social network that create the content. The most valuable retailer almost has a zero inventory. It's about the others bringing in the inventory to make Alibaba the biggest possible company in the world. Airbnb, world's largest accommodation provider, owns no real estate. So it's about sharing the information or the resources that they have with others. There are other examples that I can go on and on, from Yelp to uh, even Google and other um, providers, information providers, data access providers, that it's about providing data to your consumers the manner they want to consume. It's not necessarily about owning the resource itself. So in order for you to engage in the digital economy, you're just the internal developers is not going to help that much anymore because that model won't scale. Your partners can come and connect to an extent to get some data out of you, but then that also is going to be a problem to integrate on a daily basis. But you need an army of digital developers to help you go to the next level. And if you're connecting with your backend systems, the way it's shown here, a systems of record, it's going to be nearly impossible to connect. Which means in order to have innovation meets an enterprise, you need to be able to have the systems of engagements connect with the systems of record in the most possible, most efficient manner. So in order to engage in a digital economy properly, 
you should be able to do two things right. One, you should be able to share your enterprise systems, your backend systems, your systems of record that's working in a self-service manner to the developers, the digital developers who want to take your, um, your enterprise to the next level, the digital army. You need to help them in, in engage in a self-service manner. And you also have to make sure when they self-service, find access to your data in a manner that they can consume. You make it frictionless in such a way that they're able to connect with your backend systems. In other words, they should be able to find your APIs, your capabilities, your data, when they need it, how they need it, with proper controls in place. And they should be able to, their app should be able to access your data with the least friction manner in possible. Otherwise, they would forget about you and move on to build someone else's app. So I want to give you a case study of what we did right. I want to take a case study of this Silverhook power boards. Of course, I like boat racing, not because it looks cool, but also it is very powerful, as you can see. These boards, which are powered racing boats, can go at speeds of almost like 140, 150 miles like the NASCAR version of going in the water, right? So when Silverhook Boats reached out to us to help them enable wind them competitions, they had one need. It's hard for the drivers to keep concentrating on when they are driving to do the actions and look at all the dials. These boats are on salt water all the time. So there is corrosion. The instrumentations tend to fail quick enough. So, which means in order for you to be more effective and win, not only you have to monitor whether the instrumentation is working properly, but also you should be able to collect all the data and based on the previously set some um, thresholds, you should be able to create some actionable insights out of that and feed that information to the driver. So to give you an idea, this is how that looks inside the power boards in a cramped space with a lot of instrumentation and the driver is driving at about 150 miles on, on water and going such speeds and you're not able to follow all of this. <clears throat> so when we created this engaging experience, it's not about just the driver getting the experience, but also we have created a holistic experience for the viewers who are coming in to see the picture of not only the boat racing, as you can see, Lucas Oil was the boat that's running in there, but you can also see the competitors and how close they are and how far they are and how much distance they are to travel. So it was more of a visual delight. It's not about just the instrumentation controls and, and getting information from the boat to help them out, but also it's about providing a visual delight for the users who are coming in to take a look at it. So to give you an idea, so when we collected the information from inside the boat using the meters, we were able to get that information, figure it out, and then we were able to provide the information back to the driver in a matter of seconds, telling them, in this particular case, both run, run, engines are running at a high RPM. So if you don't have any boat chasing you nearby, close by, you can let the grip go a little bit, loosen up a little bit, so you can you know, have cool, cool your engines down or lower your RPM a little bit or your port engine is low fuel to boost ratio, so which means you need to adjust to do something about that. Or both engines are running on a low water pressure, so you're taking some effective manure. Or um, talking about the port, en port engine's low fuel ratio. Um, so how do we do this? We actually used our digital platform to help engage this experience. It's about having the IBM IoT foundation to collect the data from the instrumentation panel on the boat. And it's about having the Bluemix digital platform process all that information, upload that to the cloud, use that um, data to analyze the information, and use the exposed APIs to, to interact between them. And on top of it, um, after all the analysis is done, when you get the um, actionable insight, provide the information back to the driver who's driving 150 miles, keep in mind, to the boat back. And all the thing can also be intermingled with our Watson service, which allows you to provide cognitive ability. So which means in the future, when these things happen, rather than the driver trying to do some action, the driver can always say the commands. And Watson would not only interpret the command, and based on the conditions that's happening in the boat, and based on the commands that they are issuing, it'll take some action to give you the edge to win the race. So 
let's face it, in today's tomorrow's IT, it's not about core IT. It's not about the CMO funded or the business unit funded, um, the SaaS or cloud-based applications. It's not about the platform as a service that every one of your business units are building to, to do a mobile enablement or IoT enablement or, or variable devices enablement, all of those fragmented platform. It's also not about just the digital army coming in to access your, your data in a manner they want to, um, to provide to their customers. Or it's not just about partners building a siloed applications. It's all about all of them coming together. It's about core IT working with your SaaS applications, working with all your platform that you have in hand, all of them coming together and creating a magic together. To that end, we help our customers to bring all these ideas together. So all of these things, what we talked about, whether you need security to make all these things together, whether you need analytics, whether you need to deploy in a certain place, you need to have Watson to help your cognitive abilities, or you want to have Alchemy APIs, or API management to expose all of them as an API, or you have a mobile enablement, or you want to design thinking, or you want DevOps, all of this. When you have an idea, when you want to bring them to life, we give you all these options. So you can put them all together. You bring your idea and use all the components that are provided and use even other ideas from the world as created for you. Combine your ideas with the world's best ideas to create some magic for your customers. But it is not just about bringing just your ideas to life. If you bring your ideas to life, you have executed the proof of concept. You have proven the concept. But the actual reality lies in when you're able to convert those experiments into enterprise-grade apps. That's where IBM can help. It can connect your enterprise IT provide a secure connection into your shadow IT, to your mixed IT, and then provide a quality of data, which matters the most. Provide anal analytics, provide security. In other words, you have some components. You build some components. We provide the rest of the components. It's a composable economy. We help you innovate. We help you cater for your customers. We help you convert that into enterprise grade in the fastest possible time. Thank you.